Brothers and sisters, Shalom. I'd like to share this amazing letter I got last night from our brother Chris Hilton up in far north Queensland, Australia. Here it goes. Hi guys, we just finished watching The Real Women, episode two. Victoria said it was wonderful. We sit and watch it together. You girls are going to blow the lid off everything, which is how it should be, because Yahusha loves the ladies. There was one subject I would like to encourage all the ladies about though. It was in the answer that Phyllis gave about submitting to the husband and how dreadful it was for that guy who was walking on eggshells or he would be put out of the house. And the lady also who was living with an unbelieving husband. These are all dreadful circumstances but can be rectified by Torah. All I want to do is to encourage everyone's relationship with Yahusha in a deeper, more trustful way. Because the scripture that Phyllis mentioned goes on to say, Submit yourselves unto your husbands as you would unto Yahusha. It's all about love. Love is the greatest power in the universe. When the love of Yahusha comes into you and you taste his delightfulness, that is it. You automatically fall in love with Yahusha, and your relationship is full of daily delights as you discover him in so many unsuspecting places in your routines. He is there as a lover and a husband, wooing you deeper into his intoxicating sobriety. Love surprise after love surprise makes us want to surrender our whole being to him completely. This is how we should be all experiencing our amazing creator. When we realize what he sacrificed for us, we should be overwhelmed enough to surrender everything to his desires. This is not only for women, but for men. After all, we are all the bride, aren't we? And men need to be wooed just as much as women. This is where women can have the upper hand. You got girls? This is where women can have the upper hand of confidence and should realize that they are equal to men. If they are living Torah to their husbands, as Phyllis said, women can have the surprise advantage, the surprise attack of the sweetness and softness that a man cannot bring to the table. We are all the bride, and the way you love Yahusha with an incredible depth of emotion, that is what you need to bring to the table and surrender to your husband. Once you have done this, you have won the battle. The husband is then left with all his feelings and emotions, and this opens up a direction he then needs to see and enter into. This is my main point. The scripture says that a woman won't have to say anything, but her husband will be converted by her behavior. It's your behavior, girls. It's your behavior that will win over him. It's your behavior that will win over your husband, not by saying anything. The mouth need not say anything about Torah, but the mouth can say all sorts of encouraging, lovely, uplifting things, which will make him want to come home from work as soon as he can, just to be with his delightful darling. If you are there waiting in ambush, looking and smelling great, to defeat Satan every moment you can with Yahusha's love, you will not only see your husband converted, but many others as well. Women need to take hold of their belief, take hold of their trust. This is the major point here. And take hold of yourselves to know that this is warfare you're fighting. This is spiritual warfare, girls and guys. It's not a game of gin rummy. No, it's spiritual warfare. It's very serious. It's deadly and it's dangerous. Love is the most important force in the universe, and love never fails. You are gifted, ladies, to wield this force from our Master, and you will win your battles with His love. I do hope that many women will take their life in Yahushua more seriously. I pray that you girls will experiment with this knowledge in places where you normally wouldn't go, and keep tabs on the results. Do it and, and keep tabs on it. Look and see where Yahushua is and what's, what's going to go down. Remember, you have to wear your armor. Wear your armor. 
just the same as the men need to. Of course, your capacities are different to men, but that doesn't stop the fruit and the gifts flowing from your vessels. Hallelujah, girls. Please go for it. Lots of love, our brother Chris Hilton. Isn't that amazing? Girls, go for it. Love your husbands, whether they're unbelieving or not. Submit to your husband and you'll see some amazing results. I like the bit there that said you've got the, the surprise attack, the advantage, the softness of your emotions can touch your husbands. Us men aren't that good at the softness of our emotions. So you've got that upper hand, girls. Use it, because that's how Yahushua was. What you, how on earth would he get all his disciples to follow him if he didn't have some softness and some amazing feeling and love coming from his eyes? They just dropped tools and followed him, left their families and everything just to follow him. That's crazy. He would do that. They must have felt something, mustn't they? So use your eyes. Use the eyes. And love everybody. Shalom and bye-bye. Hello everybody, my name is Lou White. Doom, 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 White.
I believe in the kingdom come And all mankind will stand to be judged According to Torah And this race I'm still running, yeah Yahusha died and he loosed the chains he Carried the burden of all my shame Now of my shame And forever I'll serve him Cause I finally found What I'm looking for Searching for